built a house but not just any house an affordable one in Kingston Jamaica this house was built from a 20-foot shipping container and it has all the amenities of a regular house nice not sure the process was very challenging but very fun at the same time and I figured I'd share it with you so that you know what to expect if you're building a house in Jamaica too I'll be bringing a new video every Sunday showcasing the journey so grab your friends grab your family grab your popcorn yeah. and come along remember to like comment share subscribe follow me at Rochelin on all my social media platforms and let's get into today's video let's go let's go let's go let's go and just like that we're at episode six of this container build series welcome aboard guys how have you been enjoying this container series so far comment below and let me know i'm super excited to hear your thoughts in the last episode we completed the kitchen and that was a fun process right I did everything except add a backsplash and I saw some of your comments asking if I would and now I'm here to answer your question, yes I will. That's what we'll be doing today, it's part of the video. Usually for backsplash, people tend to use tiles which usually look good when the right tile is chosen to complement the kitchen of course, right? Ceramic tile is usually the most popular option for kitchen backsplash as they are incredibly versatile and they come in many shapes, sizes, colors and patterns. That also usually comes with a heavier price tag than I'd like to pay today. So instead, I've opted for peel and stick tiles. Yes, peel and stick tiles exactly how it sounds is exactly what it is and before you go assuming the worst let me just say that these have proven to be incredibly good durable and real looking which is important they come in all shapes sizes styles and colors and i got the white subway tile pattern as i think that would work best for this space I got them from Amazon of course and I will provide a link to them below so you can check them out for yourself and possibly use them to dress up your own space. They have them in a variety of colors and I think you guys would like them. Well anyways, let's now install. This is what the space looks like. We're working with 5 feet of counter space. It's a very small kitchen but we're trying to make it look like it's grand as best as possible. So I just want to align it before I even remove the sticky back because it's stick, it's adhesive that's on the back um, and it is waterproof yes for those of you that are wondering it is waterproof so can be used so I'm just going to be lining them up so that I get an idea of what it's going to be looking like Three, four. Yeah, I think it will work. We'll see how it goes. I'm excited. I'm excited. Make sure that the wall is clean and dry and that nothing is on it to prevent it from sticking. This is the dry wipe. So now that the wall is clean, I'm gonna go ahead and start sticking the tiles onto the wall. So we're gonna go and we're gonna peel the the, the paper from the box so that the adhesive part is exposed. So that it can stick. So now that we remove the paper, I'm gonna hold it and now place it where I need it to stick. Alright, so it's flush on the wall, and then there we go. Metal, I know. You can't talk to me. You can't talk to me, he's a tiler. A good, good tiler, look for my first tile. Laying these tiles. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. All right, let's 
lay the second row of tile which is gonna just flush right in here like so all right all right so now we're gonna remove the back again there we go I forgot to mention that there is a, a clear top over the actual tiles that you can remove one centimeter tile because it does kind of hamper the second row of tile from going on. I notice. Alright, now that. Alright, and our second row of tile is laid and then again after I press it in and I'm gonna go ahead and remove this film from in front of it and I must say that once I remove it it feels like tile like rubber tiles like I don't know it feels I can understand now why they say it's waterproof because I was kind of wondering you know it does feel waterproof right now let's move down two towels down I'm gonna just try to remove like the part closest to the joint. At this point, I decided to remove the second towel because I realized that I had turned it upside down. There are some markers on it if you look closely and I initially disregarded it so now I'm turning it back upside down and re-sticking it. And I was very happy that I actually caught it early and not 10 tiles in. Can you imagine the disaster that would have been? guys we're going on great we're going on great we're coming along I'm gonna try to go above even though I do have some shelves I don't know yes I kind of gonna be tricky because I'm gonna have to try and cut around this or work around it but in the meantime I'm gonna carry some of this thing. So I found that the easiest way, what feels easier is just, just to peel off the film um, of the part, just peel off just enough to place it down. And then once it's placed, then you peel off some more. So like just enough here to join it. And then once you join it, once it's joined, oh, let me remove it. Yeah. Now once this is joined, then I'm going to go ahead and remove installing these ones last but I'll just tuck it in just so that I get an idea of where they should fall and continue with the row of
pause press the subscribe button all right let's continue now so the place is almost finished um over here is really what's left um i need a solution for closet as you can see there's a lot of things on the ground and even some things that are not there yet that needs to go in a closet i've been trying to find a carpenter to build something you know five feet long two feet wide they're about um, unable to find a good carpenter trying to find solutions like a wardrobe unable to find that as well um, today I stumbled on this and it's like uh, something you have to configure so I'm gonna try to figure that out and try to get it on this wall the challenge is that I needed to be able to be closed up so I need to find a solution for it to be closed up I was thinking curtain or something but I don't know yet but this is what I'm working with and I just start pulling the stuff out of the box to see what exactly it looks like and uh, that's what we got so of course I'd rather not do this myself so guess who's back the great ready hey, hello hello <laughs> you just happy to be here in a way <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing though I'm tired you tired? tired? Oh gosh, I just hurry up and finish and go sleep. <laughs> but here's the thing now. We know how much our men do not like to read manuals, right? <laughs> Look at him struggling over there. So this is the closet that's going to be installed. So he has to like figure out how exactly to put up all of these. These are all of the parts. <laughs> but you know, if Roddy can't do it, then it can't do. It is going in this space over here. Have you ever installed any of these type of classes before? No. We install shelf like them, they but not the classes like the hmm. I'm not trying to see the item, I'm not see the item. How oh, I want it? As high as it can go. Because they're not giving me no height. The higher the better. Oh. Oh. You build it up, you have something on it as well. Oh yeah? Yeah, if you have a thing here so you can hang up. The hang up, see hang on at the bottom. You see? So hang up, hang up the best under mm, the that bottom. That means you can go as high as possible so. So that's how high, how high is that? Six foot six. Six foot, well I know. Mm -hmm. That's a grave man. Shut up at the top shelf. Yeah. Which closet in all lower so? So we wanna get your eye. Because things are on down the sun, it needs to have enough eye for eye for eight today. Eight here? Yeah, that's the little bit. Is the top top one I got this or no? Yes. The top yes, best the one. Top top one. And then between that look like two foot. Yeah, we we, we arrange them then which way you want them. Yeah, right. you can so, you can design so how like, you want it. Which part is the eight? Alright, so seven feet, feet then. Eh? Seven foot the, and then two foot below that are gonna be five foot. No, five, right yeah. here so. Yeah man, a two a foot that. A two foot that. No, one. That look at like one. <coughs> a two foot. A two foot that space, eh? Well you can be it, you know must be. Yeah, do it but yeah, yeah. you can be it much yeah, I want. But the height of a wardrobe, you know. Oh, it's a wardrobe. Regular wardrobe. What that? My wardrobe is high now. My wardrobe is high. I look at that wardrobe. No, man, I'm big. Okay, okay, so we're at the seventh floor. I mean, I bought this. I have yeah, seven this. Put the shelf. I mean, I have a sheet and everything, man, to five. So if yeah, man, around seven feet. So if the shelf is a foot and a half, which mm, makes it. You can put things in it. Which makes it to. Mm, one, Here. four, three, four, five, six. So we settle on what's the height we settle on for the closet? Ninety inches. Ninety inches. How much feet that? Twelve, seven, eighty-four, and six. So seven feet and seven six feet inches. Six. Well, you know about mats. Well, you know about mats. <laughs> Must I already love the foolishness? Right, it's a tree. And that tree, so you got six feet, six. Right. Him love the six foot six. I think it's a Yes. Yes. <laughs> ah. 
Lovely. You're doing a great job. Proud of you, Ruddy. Proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> How much screw this one sitting in it, sir? Each, each one, more strength. Yeah. Okay, no weakness. You want me to leave and call me, and, and you call me next week and say the shelves drop down? <laughs> yeah, come put them up back. <laughs> me and you. Is that me no one? When I don't crucify yeah, you. I just have all the weight in them. Okay. That's it now. Oh. That's all, all of the weight. Okay, yeah. love that. I'm going to get back, boy! I'll make sure. Wait a second now, next piece. What kind of problem you have now? I'm going to bring no level. Oh, I have a level, darling. Don't you worry. Hold on. Where's the bomb level? Female level. Thank God, because yes, you don't female. have a male one. A you don't. Level. You don't have anything, and I give you one. Be grateful. Look at, Look at it. <laughs> Look at my level leveling. Roddy said he left his level, and is it because girl always have her things? Yeah, female level. Our female level is working. All right. But thanks be to God. Never have a smaller one too. No, I don't want that. That's a junior baby, one. Baby, baby level. Yeah. I was thinking this. <laughs> Penny level. I was thinking with this one. I like, I like having things. I have every little thing, you know? Look at that. Yeah, ma, we're cooking with gas now. That's my place. Not cover over bolts. project here. Mm. Use 22.125 yeah. inch. What are we? Them oh, specific. Like six inch. Eh? Yeah, them. <laughs> 22.125 inch rail cover. Like what? Them condensed left with a 22 inch. What is this? Is that straight? Is it leveled? Guys, does this look leveled? It plumb. <laughs> Mmm, it's not cherry. I just plum. So, guys, it's plum. What does plum mean? When I level in, I level so. What you said? When I level in, you level like that. Across. Mm -hmm. And you plum this. Oh, so plum is vertical. Mm -hmm. Got you. So, you hear that? So, for all I want to do, just straight up, you plum. And if you're wide over so, you level. <laughs> Yes, sir. Then you just see how you will do them, man. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yes. Mm hmm So, uh, what? Mm-hmm. So, that means this not come. I can't have my hand. Shall we? Hmm? Shall we say you want it like this? What's that? So, shall I go up there, sir? That's the top top. Yeah. That's the... Okay. I said, I'll show you how you want it like this. What do you mean? What are my options? No, the dress. The tall dress then we're going to be over there. Mm -hmm. The shelf then come down here. Is that all right? Is that the, what do you that think? You what do you think is the best way? I want the best way. All right. Look at the, look at the picture over there, you see? Mash it up, yeah? Mash up my level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mash it up. Ciao. Got you. Mm -hmm. It keeps finally sliding out of the hole. Good. Good. What? I Not that. Bring out the rebel, the rebel in you, bring out the rebel in me. Mm-hmm. Cause we're rebels. That one goes. Yeah. Ah. I mean it works. Oh, but there's nothing for it to go on. It's like they took out some of the pieces. Alright, so a lot of trial and error happening right now. To see what makes sense. B and B. 
Okay, now I guess it for the middle middle. You want to come over some more? I'm gonna try some more. Some the box feet. says yeah. three to mm -hmm. six feet, mm -hmm. but I didn't really want us to do six, feet. Didn't have to go six feet. They lied. Yeah, how we are going? I prefer our design to theirs on the box. I yeah, I prefer our design to the box. What do you guys think? Do you prefer this design? Or you prefer the design on the box? This is what the design on the box. Alright, the shelf space is looking good. Alright, we're cooking with gas now. We gotta put that can go to the back. For cough, I'm at the front? Yeah, the wall. So then design the wall right as well. So you can't turn your own back way, turn around the angle. No. Yeah, I can't turn in. Uh -uh. Come and show you something. Oh, you see under this wall and this wall? Mm. Right. So I'm going to put it under your side. You're going to put it under your side? No, I'm going to put it under your side. You're going to put it under your side. Welcome to China Club. Like, this thing is all the way out here. Oh, that's entry. This, we need it for color. So this is Here goes ready doing the makeshift build because I can't work with it the way that it came in this box. So guys, this is the finished product. Um, As you can see, so I already had moved the holes, like I was telling you earlier from here, I moved them in. So all the clothes now can now be hung and be further in than how it was out before. I know we have the three hanging spaces and the five shelves and that's what it's looking like so we're gonna be packing it up um and 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 just completing it and then when we finish we're gonna put something around it so that it looks like a full complete closet i also have these hangers these hanging spaces that allow you to to um like maximize the use of the space um and you're able to put six hangers on each so that you get even more from the space so it would be like this using the same space so you see everything on the one single space as opposed to having six things come out here and fill up the space so you get to use less space with more clothes get the gist so that's what that's about comment below and let me know what you think what would you have done differently what you like um and yeah Anywho guys, that's it for today's episode. Come back next week for episode 7 and come back for the episodes that I post during the week, which usually on a Wednesday or a Thursday. The housing market is crazy worldwide, so we'll be looking at houses and alternative housing and housing solutions for a bit, so come along for the ride. Thanks for the usual support. Remember to like the video, share it with your friends and your family. And I just want to say thank you all for all the birthday wishes. I've seen them and I'm so appreciative. Thank you so much. I love y'all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. A good thing thing, DIY thing, traveling, exploring. Touring. I look at your thing, I look at teaching, I be a fun thing, cause she not boring. Like, share, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Watch every video member say she not hype. Like, share, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Watch every video member say she not hype. Hey, mm -hmm. it's Rushlin. Mm -hmm. Remember to like, mm -hmm. comment, share, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause she not boring.